Well guys, I'm back with another video and in this one you'll see where I refurbished an old piece of furniture that we've had for umpteen years. Yes, this entertainment center we brought, I think it was about probably about 15 years ago and I am not exaggerating. So we've used it, we've moved it around from duty station to duty station. I didn't want to get rid of it. You see where it's all broken up little teeny pieces and it's, I think it's plywood. It's, it's not even good particle board it's particle board that's what it is um you'll see the back pieces back there where you kind of tack it on but anyhow i always loved it um i wanted to buy me a new hutch or kind of like a bookshelf and we were like no then i told my husband hey let's get some built-ins because when we first bought the house we didn't have those put in but anyways in this video you'll see where i clean it off as much as i could um with the micro band and the disinfectant wipes it was dusty you know just just old and so i cleaned it off really good and then i'm actually going to be using dixie bell chalk paint now here are the lights that we put in when we first got it they were just lights you would buy from lowe's uh, my husband inserted those now wait a minute let me fix that those lights right there are the little push-up ones we got from five and below but underneath are black lights it was like a lighting kit that we brought from lowe's years ago and you just kind of switched the light on and off the ones that you saw on the top the white ones they're from five and below and for some reason those batteries go out so fast um but anyway the lighting is not working in there so we just left it just left it alone here I have my Dixie Belle chalk paint, my favorite. Um, this time I'm using buttercream as I did with another piece of furniture I did in my home. Um, it did well. It did do well. My plan was to have distressed it with some sandpaper, but ugh, I don't know. Well, I think what I'm actually going to do is go over it with some regular paint, some wood paint. Um, so that it can actually match the molding in my house versus having that rustic look that I was first looking for. Now, right here, we these are some paintable textiles. I bought these, uh, probably about five ro um, rolls of them, about five rolls. I found them in Goodwill maybe about four years ago, and I've used it. But the plan for this project is to use it as a background. That part back there where you see is tape, that is exactly where I'll be adding it. So enough with me talking and go ahead and check out the video
Now, as you'll see in this part, my husband took that same piece of board that he had cut down that had a rectangular shape and actually arched it off. Um, here's a piece of, piece of the arch that came off. I didn't get a video of him actually cutting it, but um, he arched it off um, to make sure that it would give that look that I was, you know, really going for. It wasn't hard. The only thing is he had to cut it down to make it fit perfectly into that space. And then he had to cut out those grooves because on the inside of that, um, the top part of that entertainment center, there's these little hook things and you just couldn't put a flat piece of wood up there. You had to literally cut it out in square pieces just so it would fit properly. And that's what we're showing you here. Now, I will be honest, as much as he tried to make that arch perfect, it is not. So you will see, you know, a few pieces to the entertainment center that are not perfect. Of course, we made it over ourselves. We, if we wanted perfect, we should have went and bought one. And these are just a few tools that he used. But if you keep watching, you'll see how we added the top piece to the entertainment center and gave it that nice look. He sanded it down because it did have a few splinters there when he had cut out the arch. So keep watching and we'll soon be to the finished product. And so here, my project is complete and I'm putting the last finished touches on it, a piece of wrought iron that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is a before. And voila! This is the finished product of a DIY chalk paint entertainment center makeover. I had a few pieces in there, not much. And then I kind of had this feeling like, ah, that's a little overcrowded. So I might take some out, but just add a few accident pieces, a couple of pieces of greenery, some baskets, things like that. If you keep watching, you'll also see where I added these two rod arm stands on each side of it, which gave it a little twist of a look. Added a little class to it. I like it. Keep watching.
I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video. And remember, you can take something that's old and make it look brand new. All you need is a little bit of paint, an idea of what you want, and a piece of furniture that you can refurbish. Bye-bye.